from NBC News, this is Today with Campbell Brown and Lester Holt. Chris, thanks. Living it up at the movies. The holiday box office season is getting underway. That means a full court press for your business. And nowadays, some theaters are going to extremes to reel in fans. In just over a century, movie making has taken us from silent black and whites to today's spectacular lifelike digital effects. No! Advances that keep raising the bar for movie theaters, whose challenge over the decades has been to create a movie going experience on par with what's up on the screen. Where else but Hollywood have they taken that challenge to a new level? The arc light. It's Tinseltown's movie Nirvana. Everything we can. This 15 auditorium theater complex is this decade's answer to the Megaplex. Bigger, better, and a bit more personalized. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome, welcome, one and all, the world famous Arclight Hollywood. The concept was the brainchild of Christopher Foreman, the CEO of Pacific Theaters, who wanted to provide audiences with the ultimate movie going experience. See, already I'm saying this is not your typical movie theater lobby. No, that's right. So here you are in the lobby looking at our departure board. Yeah, what do you call it a departure board? Well, it's almost like the boards at train stations. You're getting ready to go on a journey when you come to see a movie. Every seat is reserved in all auditoriums. And not only is it reserved, but it's something you can buy online. The Arclight is one of about a dozen or so theaters across the country hoping to reel in audiences with upscale amenities from babysitting to 21 and overnights to valet parking. At the Arclight, the gift shop looks more like something you'd find at an upscale mall. And its two-level cafe offers table service dining and a fully stocked bar. In addition to enhancing the experience in a number of ways, we wanted to extend the experience. Here with the cafe bar, you can linger and you can talk about the movie. And in some cases, what's old is new again, the popcorn features real butter. Downstairs, theater three. Thank you. Who is your audience? Who's the customer of a theater like this? The customer is people who love the movies. It's no secret that Hollywood's had a tough time, you know, bringing people into the blockbusters than, than it used to be in the past. Are, are you also competing against the person who says, I'll wait till it comes out on DVD? Well, uh, again, yes and no. And one of the things that the studies have shown is that the heaviest uh, users of DVDs are also the heaviest moviegoers. And what we're trying to do here is to create an experience that you certainly can't get at home. And in our view, you really don't get at most movie theaters anymore. Stadium type seating, wider seats, and more leg room are just a few of the extras you experience when you take your seat. The biggest thing for us is no advertisements and only a few previews. And even if you reserve late and get stuck in the front row, it's literally not a pain in the neck. Our front rows are so far back that the screen could fall and it wouldn't even hit the front row. The arc light also enforces a no late policy. Once the film started, we don't let people into the auditorium. So there's none, none of this, excuse me, excuse me in the middle <laughs> well, of That's right. Really? This growing trend of upscale theaters comes with an upscale price. Tickets here are about 20% more than at traditional theaters. But price, so far, has not proved to be a showstopper. Theaters like this are really dedicated to the movie goer. You're paying a little bit more, but you're getting your money's worth. And it's now 24 before the hour. Once again, here's Campbell.